Hey guys, welcome to the Riaya, and this is a quick tutorial on how to make a dual sheath redux patch for a weapons mod in Skyrim. The first thing you are going to need to do is download the program called NIF Scope. It will be in the description below, or you can look it up on SourceForge or the search engine of your choice. Once you download NIF Scope and get it installed, it will associate the extension .nif for itself, so when you double click a file as such, it will open up inside the program. Now in order to make a dual sheath redux patch, you will have to find the weapons that you will need to change and open them up into the program. It will be under the mesh folder inside Skyrim. If you are using Mod Organizer, you can look under the Mods folder for the actual name of the mod, open up that said folder, and look under the meshes to get them. If you are using Nexus Mod Manager, you will have to find them inside your Skyrim folder itself in the meshes there. If you are doing so, that way I would recommend just extracting the folder wherever you downloaded the file itself wherever you downloaded it the .zip or the .rar or the .7z and open it up from inside its own separate folder so you can easily find the .nif files in the meshes if you do not then you will have to actually search for them in the Skyrim data meshes folder itself and once you have it open up, in general, on the top left side, you're going to want to expand BS Fade node. Then click on NI String Extra Data. You will have to move your mouse cursor down under Block Details, where it says String Data, and right click. Under there, then, Click on Edit String Index, and at the end, add Left, then click OK. Next thing you are going to want to do is right click on the item mesh itself on the viewport. Go to Transform and Edit. The translation is where it is residing in the viewport under X, Y, and Z. The rotation of course is how the weapon actually looks on the viewport and pertaining to where it is on again the viewport itself and how it'll actually look in game. Now you're going to want to change the R to be 180 degrees from what it looks like in the viewport. So here it is negative 90 and you can just change it to positive 90 and it flips it around. Now to make it equal on your character on the left side you'll need to change the X to negative under translation and the Z to negative on translation. Then hit accept. Now some weapon meshes have several meshes inside there that you have to edit. So if they do, you're going to right click on it, that next mesh, go to transform, edit, and do the exact same thing you did with the primary. Change this from negative 90 to positive 90, the X in translation to negative, and the Z in translation to negative. Then hit accept. Then you can click Save As. And for the extension .nif, label it Left. Then hit Save. Now, you'll have to go through and do this with every single one of the weapons that there are to make sure that they are all being shown properly on your left side for the dual sheath redux patch. Once you do this with every single item, then everything should show up properly in-game. 
I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. And if you like this video, like it. If you dislike it, well, dislike it. And if you have any comments, feel free to post them below. Thank you for taking the time, and I hope this was helpful.